Hello there and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Today we are going to tie an Icelandic fly which is called Kuhungur in Icelandic but uh, it's uh, supposed to imitate one of the snails that lives like it constantly lives in water here in Iceland and lots of uh, fish feeds on it both, uh, both the trout and the um, arctic char feeds on it especially in the highlandic waters it's in Latin, it's called Ratix Baltica. You can Google it and look it up. And uh, I've been yeah, successful with this fly, like in Thinkwetli Lake and then some other lakes. Uh, first of all, we have to attach the thread to the shank, like we already done. Next step is to take this thick lead wire and to attach that to the shank of the hook, make it sure. It's like weighted on the back. It's very important. The weight must be on the back of the fly. So it turns upside down when you fish with it. And yeah, try to keep the lead down and uh, get those sharp edges away. Then we will be placing yet another, another piece of a lead wire thread on the top of the other one. So it's like built up kind of. It may not be the easiest fly to tie, definitely. You can actually, to make it even heavier, you can use a bead on this fly, but I find it enough to use the lead, lead wire like this and attach it to the back. Then I found out it's uh, for the buoyancy of the fly and for the balance of it, it's better to keep those threads just like a side by side on the top of the uh, fly. That's what I found out. It's easier for you guys to tie it like that. And since it, since this is a UV resin fly, or uh, originally the name is like a, an epoxy epoxy pop, or uh, back in the days it's not like a new fly. It's uh, re relatively old. It's uh, used to be made with epoxy, so epoxy that was five minutes to dry out uh, epoxy has been replaced in the fly tying category with uv resin as you may have noticed last last 10 years or so uh, what we do now to keep up with the tying is that we apply uh, pico curls fasten them on the back and wrap them forward and fasten them like that tie them down in the front near the head of the fly and go one round back and forth to attach it to keep keep on track now we will take the uv resin and uh, the uv resin i'm using for this fly is that i'm using a high viscosity uv resin simply because it's easier to work with while when it's uh, when you're building a body of a fly like this much better to use uh, the high viscosity, the low viscosity or medium viscosity UV resin is better for some other work with the resin, but I prefer to use a thick viscosity or thick uh, glue for it. The reason why we put the pickle hurls on the body is simply to, as you see what I'm doing, I'm feeding the pickle, pickle, pickle hurls with the glue. Let's just drink that in and it's going to be, like we say, in place there. There is nothing that is going to be pushing it out of it. It's just soaked in there. And then we'll, after the first round, we'll sap it with our, our UV light. Do it like two or three turns, sap it for a few seconds. And uh, then we'll go around and place the next uh, round of resin on. And believe me, it's better to put on like uh, not too thick layer each time because the UV light has only ability to sap like particular thickness of the glue so it's better to add like four or five thin layers and sap them five times rather than to add only two layers and sap it two times because uh, the light will only work particular depth on sapping then you might have like floating glue under somewhere under the body that's something which we do not want to uh, want to experience when we 
are doing the cast of the fly and the body may be destroyed. It uh, fortunately hasn't happened with me, but but I've seen flies that are definitely built up that way, too thick, and the light does not manage to sap down and, and freeze all of the glue. Here I'm putting like the third layer on uh, on the fly, and you see see that I'm working most mostly on the back of the fly, like not on the belly of it because I want the uh, the uh, <clears throat> the back of it to be thick and the belly of it to be thin. Simply because the gap of the hook is something which we must be aware of, uh, forming a body like this. Because if you if you do it like all around, and you give the <clears throat> give the uh, fly like a thick belly, then you're closing in on the uh, hook cap, and that's uh, it's going to be less possibilities to catch fish with it if the hook cap is nearly closed. I've seen flies like that, uh, epoxy flies. I've seen minnows that people are tying out of uh, UV resin. So it's very important to use like a kind of like a white cap hook and and uh, keep the hook cap relatively like we say like uh, white enough that's very important so now the fly is almost ready we just have to attach the finish do the finishing job on it and uh, do the knot trim off the thread and uh, uh, i'm putting a coat of a Solaris bone dry. That is a UV, like a UV uh, paint kind of. It's clear. It's fully clear, and it's not tacky when when you attach it to the fly. This UV resin I'm using to build up the body is tacky, but what I'm applying on it right now, that gives it like a glossy finish, and it's not tacky at all. It's just a perfect, perfect uh, product to finish both either your fly head or like a glossy body of a fly like this. <clears throat> so yeah you'll just uh, do like a layer all over the body the body is almost ready and just pinch off this drop there take it away and you have to turn the fly just to get the uh, turn the fly and the rotary vice just few rounds before you sap it simply because uh, you want to get want the layer to be as even as possible then you sap it with your light and that's about it it's really simple fly to make and the balance is uh, made for it so it's fishing with the hook up very important and this gap this is a gap i'm sure big in about this has to be there and uh, so i'm just gonna say if you have any questions you can drop me an email and uh, for all of you who have been watching my channel, I just want to say thanks a lot to you guys. It's uh, I appreciate that a lot that uh, you're giving my videos a like, some likes and stuff, and uh, <clears throat> you may subscribe to the channel if you if you like, and uh, share it all around the interwebs. So I want just to say thanks a lot for the for you guys to watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.